This is Filmware 13 A New Updates from Ondershare. It comes with many new exciting features. In this video, we'll explore the all new features of Filmware 13. Before we start, I want to share you that Filmware 13 will be launched in the end of the October. So stay tuned by subscribing my channel. So without any delay, let's start the video. The first feature I want to talk about is the Filmora Keyframe Graph Editor. Now you can create smooth keyframe animation. So let's try this. So you can see I already added text into the timeline. So now simply create an animation. For this add a keyframe in Rotate. Then go some frame later. And change Rotate value. Now let's check preview. So you can see it's animating. Now it's a linear animation. But we can make it more smooth by Filmora Keyframe Graph Editor. So for this select the text and go keyframe panel. And you can see a new window available right now. And you can see our two keyframe visible here. First select the first keyframe and select ease out. Then select the second keyframe and select ease in. Now let's check our animation. So you can see a smooth animation showing right now. The second big update is the compound clip. It's also called nesting in Premiere Pro. So now let's check this. So you can see I added the 5 videos into the timeline. And first edit your text. So after editing now I want to add same effect in this video. For this you can use adjustment layer. But when you have more layer in your timeline you can't use adjustment layer. Because adjustment layer affected in the whole timeline. So for this you can use compound clip. So select the all video and right click on this and go create compound clip. Rename and click OK. And you can see our all video in now in one video. Now you can add any effect to this. So for example, I add this glow effect. And you can see it's now affected in the whole video. The next feature is AI music. Now you can create any music without any copyright issue. For this, go audio section and go AI music from here. Then go to the start. Then select your mode, music duration and music count and simply click on start and you can see Filmora AI generating the AI music. So after that you can listen from here and for download click on this icon. So after download you find this music in the generated tab. Then you can add this music into the timeline. The next feature is Thumbnail Editor. Now you can make your own thumbnail in Filmora 13. For this, select the empty part of the timeline. Then you can see here's the thumbnail option. Just click on edit. And you can see Filmora generating some pictures for thumbnail. Just select your picture and go edit section. And you can add a text from here. Or you can add image or you can add some cropping and you can replace this and here you can see some template that you can use directly. For example, I use this template. Just edit your template and you can change color, font as you like. So after done, click on save and you can see your thumbnail is visible here. The next update is AI mask. To use the AI mask, first select the video and go to the mask section. And you can see a new option available that is AI mask. Just simply click on this and here you can see there's three different mask option. First one is smart brush, second one is select character and the third one is select subject. You can use this mask as you like. When you select the character and Filmora automatically select the character from here. 
and when you select this the more option will available here and also you can track your object from here i think it's also the best update for filmware 13. the next feature is super slow motion optical flow now you can create super slow motion video in filmware 13. so for this select the video and go to the speed section now decrease some speed for slow motion and then go ai frame interpolation and select optical flow from here so now render it and check our final preview so you can see a smooth slow motion is showing so without this update filmer 13 will comes with more new updates like ai text to video video copilot editing and many more we'll explore this in the next video so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any question please let us know in the comment section below and do subscribe for more filmer 13 tutorials and updates thanks for watching goodbye